Hi guys. <clears throat> okay, I'm just here with a little make. Um, it is my daughter's birthday soon, and it was this little piece of paper that made me think, oh yeah, um, I'll make her some wrapping paper. This came with one of her presents, um, and I figured, well, you know, I can go in the craft room and I can find some stamps and just like the wrapping paper for Christmas, I can make her my own birthday paper. Um, yeah, but then I decided to <laughs> start making a card for her, so... We have a very sarcastic relationship. <laughs> so I found these two stamps here and popped them onto the back of the card. <laughs> She'll find that funny. And then I found this postcard from Michelle, um, which was a design from Sherry over at Antique Papery, but I believe she's no longer going anymore. Um, I have this happy birthday stamp, I'll turn it the right way around, um, yeah I have this happy birthday stamp here that I've had for goodness knows how long and never used. Um, I'm not usually one for making cards and I have this sentiment stamp here that says may the scent of the roses the newly cut grass remind you of happy times may the memories last may your day be just perfect with laughter and fun more to remember when this day is done. So I thought that was quite nice to just pop inside the card. This is just a card blank. Um, and I have an envelope for it over there. But yeah, so I figured I was going to pop that down there and then put the happy birthday up there. It will come over it a little bit, but that I don't mind. So we'll pop that there. But then... I've already stamped on the back of this and then part of me is thinking, well, I should really cut this down. Um, it's a bit big. But then I was thinking, well, OK, in that case then, because I've already stamped on the back of it. Oops, and just made a mess. Um, I've already stamped on the back of it, so I don't want to waste it. Um, so then I thought, right, we'll find some cardstock to back this on to then put that on there and layer it up. Um, so I've just rooted through some 12 by 12 cardstock pads that I have, and I've found these two. Those sides are just, yeah, wow. Um, this one, I really like this one, just to have as a background you know frame kind of thing for that but I also really kind of like this one so I'm going to do both and then decide which one I like the most so I'm going to just measure this which is five inches by needs a big ruler probably five by six five by seven Oh, why am I even measuring that when it tells me on the bag? <sighs> Honestly, these are pre-made, pre-cut um, card blanks from Hobbycraft. I've just done a video on these and <laughs> it tells you there, 5 by 7 Duh. Okay, so... <laughs> don't know why I had to measure that. Okay, so that's five by seven. I know how big that is. So now I need to know how big this is. So this is four, hmm, just over four. Not quite four and a quarter. Just over four by just under six. So, so it is... So I need five by seven, so I need four and a half by six and a half, really, I would imagine. So let's get out the trimmer. That's not going to be big enough yet. I need to trim it in half. Okay, so let's do six and a half on this. Let's 
six and a half on this one, and then do six and a half on this one. It's kind of non-directional with these papers, so it doesn't really matter how it's done, which side I do it on. We're gonna put band for that. Don't know. Oh, it's there. Okay, just that back on there, just stop the strap from sliding down while it's stood upright in my um, holder thing. Okay, so we should now have, yes, a nice good size there. Okay, so now we want five, so now we want four and a half. Okay, so Thing. Let's have a look on here. Which bit do we want? Do we want the darker colour or do we want it a bit lighter? Don't think it matters much. They're a bit smaller on that side, so I think we want this side. So we need four and a half on this side. Okay, and again, this doesn't really matter. Let's do this side. Four and a half on that one. Okay, let's pop them over there. Let's have a look which one looks better. I've got a feeling this one's going to look better. Okay, so we've got that. Or do we want that down the bottom side? I think I like that, that little bit there down this bottom side here. So that would go on there in the middle and then that would go there in the middle I like that that's nice and plain and simple like that now let's see this one oh, wrong card so let's get maybe that way yeah I like it that way better so that would go there in the middle and then that would go in the middle of that oh but I really like that oh, decisions decisions so now we have do we go plain and simple on the front no we don't we go that on the front and this can go inside and we can stamp the verse on that okay so Yes, I like that idea. Okay, so this can get glued in there as it is. We can stamp the verse on that, but I think we'll go that way. Yes, I think we'll go that way. We'll stamp the verse there and then we can write on there. That's it. Okay. I'm going to round the corners, of course. So... There we go. <coughs> Round the corners. I'm going to do that on everything. I'm going to do it on this card front as well. I just have a thing about rounded corners, guys. It's just a me thing. <laughs> Make sure that's the right way up and then we're not gluing it on wrong okay so that on there and then that on there love it but i'm just going to ink around this i've already inked around this with black ink archival black soot so i'll just ink around this And I think for this one I'm going to cheat and I'm going to use some double sided sticky tape. I'm not going to glue this one, I'm going to sticky tape it. Just because I'm so not in the mood to get messy today, tonight even. It's evening now. Okay, so let's go around this with a bit of black. Okay, that 
holder. Right, love it. And then this, I think I will actually just stamp that slap bang in the middle. Um, I think that's what I want to do. So, let's, oh, I can't roll this up and I'm going to do it before I stick it on. Because if it doesn't look right or it doesn't work, I can then find a different one to put on. So let's just gauge and stop. Cool. Okay, so it has skipped a little bit there, but that is fine by me. I am happy with that. That's fine. Okay, so now what we need to do is get out the stamping platform. I couldn't do it with that one because it's a wooden stamp. This, however, I can. So let's get out the stamp platform, which has some sticky grid on it. So that's cool. If we just peel that off, we can put. that in the middle there, middle ish. Okay, so we'll line up the straight edge, ignore the curvy bit and just line up the straight edge. There we go, so we've got a bit of sticky grid there. So line that with that and that with that. There we go. Okay. And then we'll get this stamp out. Okay. Comes out. Where is it? Where is it? We'll have that there, I think. Yeah. We'll have that there in that corner. Okay, so pick that up and then ink it up. Never used this stamp before, so I don't know what it's gonna be like. Hence using the stamping flat for platform because if it doesn't work first time I can go back over it. Sorry about the glare. Unfortunately there's not a lot I can do about that. I need the light on at the moment because it is dark. Oh that's lovely but yeah as you can see it hasn't completely stamped so we'll just go over it again. a little bit with this. This just helps add a bit of pressure without hurting your fingers too much. Okay, let's see. Lovely. That is fine. I mean, there's a little bit of a light bit there, but I'm happy with that. I'm not even bothered about stamping that again. I'm more than happy with that. So... Okay, so that can now come off there. That can go back on. The magnets. Um, we'll just pop that to one side, I'll put that away later. Okay, so now I need to actually find my um sticky tape so I'll be back in a moment okay guys so I have my 
tape roller here there and then I have some double sided sticky tape here that I could also use so the I'm not always great with these so I'm going to actually use the double sided tape and then I found this beautiful little ball um, that I was thinking of sticking on there but I'll do that once everything's down I'll do that with a bit of glue okay so I'm going to stick this to this and this to this so let's get cracking so I'm going to stick some of this on there down there like that and then that's a bit more Up down there like that. A little bit there. A little bit there. It doesn't have to be straight. You can raise these to make them dimensional, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Maybe. I don't. Oh, I really don't know. I don't, didn't think I wanted to until I said it, and then I'm like, mm -hmm, do I? Um, see, now I think I do. <laughs> um, why do I do? Right, I'll be back in a second, guys. Okay, guys, I was having a bit of a panic on then. Do you believe that in the whole of this room I don't have any... Um, scrap pieces of cardstock to be able to raise these up but I found an Amazon package in here so that will do nicely and I'll mess about with that we'll just cut it off Ooh. doesn't like that okay does not like that at all Usually it peels off okay, but not a plain ball today. There we go. Nice. Okay. I kind of only want this little piece anyway, so let's just get rid of the edges. straight edge we want this to be what size did I say this was this is four and a bit by just under six so if we go three no if we go four and five Quarter, five and three quarters by four. So four. Is there by five and three quarters? She's there. A little bit more. Five and let's just go five and a half. That should do. Yeah, that's fine. And then a little bit more off the edge of it. Perfect. Okay, and then we need another one. The same size. So this is now three and seven eighths by five and a half. Okay, so we'll do another one. And a half. 
Touch there by <clears throat> what did I say? Three and seven eighths. Three and seven eighths. Perfect. Okay. I hate measuring. All them out of the way. Don't need it for this piece in the middle. Okay, so we've already got tape on there, and luckily it just fits. I'll round the edges on that as well. Not that you're going to see it, but I'll do it anyway. I just want my own peace of mind. Okay, round the corners on this. Actually, this could have done with being a bit bigger because of that, but that's fine. We're only aiming to raise it slightly, which is fine. Okay, so let's now get some on here. Put the tape on this one this time. A little bit too big. Okay, so put the tape on there. Let's put some tape on there. Not waste any. Let's put that bit there. That bit down the middle. And then a little bit across the bottom. Okay. So then we peel off. This will stick on there like so. Peel off the tape on these. there and then that in the middle of there it just raises it a little bit it should have doubled up on these actually to raise it a bit more but I'm happy with how that is so, pop some there some there And then this will go on there like that. See, so it hasn't raised it a lot, but it, it is now just dimensional, a little bit dimensional, which is cool. And then that will go on there. Awesome. Before I do that though, I'm going to stick this bit in the middle and as I said, I'm not going to bother about building this up to make it dimensional. I'm just going to stick that in flat. I forgot how quick and easy it is using this tape. 
as opposed to fighting with glue. straight okay there we go all right let's burnish this down the right way up and then this can just pop there nicely in the middle there we go and then the same on this one pop some tape on here that one a bit and I've gone slightly off but never mind. Finish it down. Take the back. Take the back off. That'll be fine when the rest of it's down. Okay. And again Double check and make sure we're on the right side, right way up, and voila. There we go. One birthday card. Beautiful. I love it. Okay, fabulous. Oh, I really do like that. Now do I go around that in black like I have with those or do I leave it? I think I'll leave it. Yeah, I think I'll leave it. Tempted, but I think I'll leave it. But yeah, that's nice. It feels nice. It's a little bit, little bit dimensional. Don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see that a little bit there, can't you? It's just added a little bit of dimension. If I'd have had a bit more time not put a bit more thought into it but thought about it a bit more um i could have actually sewn around these pieces before putting them on um but yeah i'm more than happy with that i really like that so now that's all now that's all now all that's left to do is writing it which i will do off camera um yeah now it's not the video i did set out to do because i set out to do some page um uh, some wrapping paper i've just remembered about the bow actually um yeah i set out to do some wrapping paper some handmade wrapping paper for her present but we ended up doing this and i really am going to stick that bow on there because that's just gorgeous so okay we are going to get the glue out i'm going to get some fabri tac out if i can get the lid off it that is well and truly stuck on there okay yeah, get rid of all the glue off it. No idea how long this video is because it's been done in a couple of parts. Um, but yeah, so. And this video won't go up for a while. By the time you're watching this, she will have already had her birthday. But right now it is the 27th of October. Her birthday is not till the 9th of November. So. I'm doing this way in advance. A little blob of glue there. A little blob of glue there. 
a little blob of glue there and a little blob of glue there and then let's stick the ball down behave do not ruin my hard work <laughs> love it okay let's turn it over and squash it down flat from this side oh that i love it gorgeous Oh, it's just fabulous. I really want to put some bling there now. Oh, man. Okay, so where is my bling? Where are you? There. Over there. Reach it without falling off my chair. Only just. Okay. then so let's stick it some bling on so scissors and let's go to where were it this one go to there let's go down middle into Twos, strips of two. Okay, put a bit of bling there. A bit of bling up here. There. And a little bit of bling there. bit of glue there and where did it go? Where on earth did that go? Oh, there. Little bit of bling in the middle there. Fabulous. Okay, well oh, glue's oozing out now. Little bit of bling across there. Like that. And some bling across the bottom here. Like that. There we go. There we go. Oh, God, I love it so much. <laughs> love that. Oh, yes. Love it. Awesome. Okay, so fabulous. And then, of course, the envelope. So, when it's done, i.e. when I've written in it, we can then very carefully pop it in the envelope. Fabulous! Oh, I love that, guys. Awesome. Okay, I'm happy enough with that. So there we are, guys. One handmade birthday card, excuse me. One handmade birthday card for my daughter. Awesome. Loving it. Super cool. Okay, guys, so I am going to love you and leave you. And like I said, I know I was originally doing wrapping paper, but yeah, this turned into a whole different video. So <laughs> I will love you and leave you guys. So take care, stay safe, and thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.